Hi, Stu here from Music Technology, and in today's Pro Tools Quick Tips video, we're going to look at the Groups panel, which you'll find in the bottom left-hand corner of the Mix and Edit windows, and some of the things you can do with this panel to select tracks and to suspend groups and things like that. So here we are in our panel, and the first thing you can do is you can use it to select just the tracks in a group by going to the left-hand side of the letter here. So if I go to the left of D for drums, and I click that, it selects my drum group. Let's select one you can see guitars, strings, keyboards. Now if I hold down shift, I can add to that and select all those tracks, and then I can click them again to deselect all those tracks. Now one of the other things you can do is you can turn all of these groups on and off without using the all group, because you might want them to still be in individual groups and not affect all the failures across the whole mix. So you would hold down Alt on Windows or Option, on a Mac to do that. And if you hold this down and click it again, it will toggle between the two states. Now, you might want to select a particular group, say strings, I'll just click it. And now maybe I don't want the strings to be active, but I want all the other groups in my session to be active. So if I hold down Command on a Mac or Control on Windows and click that, activates all of the other groups, but my strings is inactive as you can see here. Now if I continue holding down control or command and click it, you will see that it toggles between those two states like so. So another thing you can do once you've got all your groups active, or even if you haven't, you can suspend these groups and to all intents and purposes, they don't exist then, and Pro Tools can't see them and you can't use them. It's really useful if you just want to try something out with a mix, but you don't want to be affected by groups that contain tracks that you might not necessarily be able to see, for example. So I will press Command Shift. You can use Control Shift G on my Mac. That suspends all groups temporarily, and Command Shift G gets them all back again. Now, one of the other things you can do here is you can modify the last group up here, the first group, sorry, up here, drums by pressing Control Command G, that's Start Control on Windows, and that'll allow me to modify the drum group, and you can see this if I zoom out a little bit, modify that group. Now, if you want to modify another group, probably the easiest thing to do, if I just press Escape to get rid of that window, is to right click on it, and then you've got modify here in this menu down here, and you can modify whatever group it says up here, P for percussion, because that's what I right clicked on at the time. So that's some of the other ways you can use this groups panel to work with groups, to modify your groups, to suspend, to select tracks, which significantly speeds up your workflow. I've been Stu for Music Technology. Click the like button below and subscribe to our channel. We post new videos every week. Happy mixing, and I'll see you soon.